Clippers of Lake Erie. The dog pound already in full roar. We welcome you to Huntington Bank Field here in downtown Cleveland. Pierre Strong on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Here's first and 10. On the carry, this is Nick Chubb. He's got room to run right at the start. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. When we met with these coaches during the week, Mike. They told us the emphasis this week about getting the run game going early. And we see it here. Nice first play pickup. Fresh set of downs. We'll go play action. It's Winston. Looking deep here for Tillman. That ball broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down. Couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. You know, Mike, there's the saying in the NFL, take what the defense gives you. But that's not always the case. Sometimes you have to force a ball downfield. Show the defense you are willing to take big shots. Even though they weren't able to connect, it's going to have an impact the rest of the game. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath, and they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes, and once you do, you can try to go for the big one. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Ten yards on the scramble there, and he picks up the first down. And here's a great example of why the pass rush on third down, that it's critical it gets home. In this case, they're not able to get to the quarterback. He has extra time to not only escape the pocket, but to turn into a runner and pick up the first down. Winston to throw on first down. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. Second and seven. On play action, Winston. To the right side here, passes caught. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. And this offense is now really on the move, Mike, and it's the passing game that's leading the way. They've been able to march their way downfield thanks to this aerial attack. So don't expect them to go to the ground game anytime soon. If I'm this play caller, I'm continuing to lead on this, not only in this drive, but probably for the rest. He is in. Nick Chubb. Touchdown, Browns. And they get the first points of the game. What a way to start it, Greg. You get the ball. It's what you want to do. Settle into this game on top 6-0. Mike, how often do we have coaches tell us the importance of playing with the lead? Well, they come take the ball right away on the first drive, all the way down there and strike first, and now the rest of the way, let's see how it plays out. Here's Hopkins now after the touchdown. He'll boot this one away. Here's Darius Davis to return it. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Three tight ends in the game to start the drop. Opening carry of the game, it's J.K. Dobbins. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down.
from the gun, it's Herbert. Brought in by the tight end, Hayden Hurst with the catch. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. And he'll get forward for a couple. That's Greg Newsom in to make the stop. Second down and eight. Fake the handoff. Now Herbert. He's got the connection there. It's Joshua Palmer. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. Zone route running, Mike, is very simple. Once you come off the line of scrimmage after the ball is snapped and you know it's zone coverage, as long as it's sort of in the area the quarterback expects you to be, my rule was just run where they're not. And when he throws it, catch it. They'll give it to Dobbins. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. Shotgun now for Herbert. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. and long. Out of the gun, here's Herbert. That's complete to his running back, J.K. Dobbins. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. Dicker's kick is good. And the Chargers are on the board. It's seven to three. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. So Dicker back out after the field goal. He'll send this one away. On the return, this is strong. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The Browns offense ready now for their second drive. They'll begin with first and 10. To throw, Winston. It's a short throw caught by Najoku. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. Off the play fake, it's Jameis. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game, he should have come up with that one. He doesn't, and now third down comes up. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, great, great separation downfield, but now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. From the gun, Winston. He'll get that into the hands of Nick Chubb. And he is very close to the first down, but uh, eyeball, he is shy of it. And they say it's fourth and inches. As a play caller, those are the plays that just drive you crazy, Mike. 
You think you're going to pick up the first down. You get tackled just shy of the sticks. And now, a little bit of a gamble here on fourth down. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. We are through one. 7-3 is our score. And we're back to Cleveland in a minute. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. A run with Dobbins. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Here's a second and nine. Throwing now is Herbert. That's complete to the TCU man, Quentin Johnston. First time these two have connected this afternoon, and it'll wind up being a first down. To throw is Herbert. That's to the tight end, Hurst. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. They'll run it with Dobbins out of the pistol. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. This is already a little better than the first time they had the ball, Mike. Remember, opening possession, three and out. Showing some signs of life here now. Nice pick up there by the back to pick up the first down. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. On the ground, here's Dobbins. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. They face second down and seven. Here's Dobbins. And he'll get forward to about the 42. Denzel Ward in on the tackle. Here's a third down and four. Now it's Herbert. This one finds McConkey. And he will not quite get to the marker. Good job there defensively. And now decision time. What are you going to do on fourth down? Johnston motioning over. They'll go for it. It's Herbert. He gets this one complete to Johnston. And he's going to have the Chargers first down. Well-designed play to pick up 16 and move the chains. Love the idea of going for it on fourth down. Anytime you're on your opponent's side of the field, Mike, you have to take advantage of that field position. You're too long for a field goal but you're too close to the end zone to punt it. So going for it on fourth down is definitely the right move. Now you've got to take advantage of it and don't let it go to waste. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Here's Herbert. He connects with Palmer on that one. And this drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. The defense has had no answers up until this point. 
And now the next step is, can they come away with six? Because anything less than that, after this long drive, would be a bit of a letdown. You have to wonder if next time, does the play caller give his quarterback some options to check out of this play? It was clear before the ball was snapped, this was not a great look for that play call, and you can see the end result. Move back to the 10. They'll try here on second and goal. To throw, it's Herbert. This one caught at the four. To the goal line and in. Lad McConkey. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Cameron Dicker, the kicker for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Chargers are on top. It's now 10-7. After the touchdown, here's Dicker out to send this one away. He fields it at the 8. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Now it's the Browns' turn as they get set to take over again on offense. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with 1st and 10. Out of the gun, it's Winston. A throw, right side, taken by Najoku. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. What a luxury that certain teams, when they have a guy like this, I mean, not only is he the big target, but then to have that size and speed to run away from these linebackers and do so much of his damage after the catch. On first and ten, here's Winston. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play... It's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Winston to throw. That's over the middle to his tight end, Najoku. They'll come up here on second down and five. A second down throw for Jameis. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it'll fall to the ground it's incomplete for the most part he's been very accurate with the ball I mean he's completing over 60 percent of his passes but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays continue to push the ball downfield hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet from the gun on third down it's Winston that's over the middle and caught by Judy the Browns going to use the first of their timeouts here as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They'll come up here first and 10. Winston looking to throw. That is caught. What a throw. David Njoku. Touchdown, Cleveland. All week, we're going to see this play be run over and over as a highlight of the quarterback and the receiver. But, Mike, the part that people don't give enough credit to 
in order to get a downfield shot, you have to have time, and what a great job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback to be comfortable enough in the pocket, let those deeper routes develop, be on time and accurate with the ball, and that's why this play is going to be a highlight all week. Let's give the big guys up front some credit. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. He'll get across the 20. Mark him down at the 23-yard line. The Chargers offense going to take over here in the final minute of this first half. The trail by four. Touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. From the gun, it's Herbert. That's thrown right side, but incomplete. Glad McConkey, the one he was looking for. And it'll bring up second down. Just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. He had a lot of good route options on that last concept. I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold, will lead to some easier and better completions. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Open man, that's McConkey, and they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Herbert to the air again. His throw on first down is going to be incomplete. He decides to go with this safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Throwing again, Herbert. That one complete to McConkey. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here now, third and five. Now Herbert again. The open man is Johnston. He's got it. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five. But it will keep the drive going. Here's Cameron Dicker now on for the field goal. This is going to be a 51-yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Chargers are back within a point. It's 14-13. Four seconds still to be played in this half as that one's away this one is fielded in the end zone but he will not bring it out it's a touchback and this drive will begin at the 30 yard line
first and ten. To throw, here's Winston. And that is incomplete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. Certainly a tightly contested first half, and you'd expect more of that here in the second half. A one-point game as quarter three begins. And this will wind up working out well. He's going to take it up to the 40-yard line. Good return. The Chargers offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. The deficit is one as they'll search now for that go-ahead score. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Now it's Dobbins. Tough to bring down, and somehow he manages to get four yards out of that. Here's a second and six. Shotgun now for Herbert. Give him 11 on the scramble and give them a new set of downs. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. On play action, it's Herbert. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. One of those plays where you like the idea, you just don't like the execution. I didn't feel the quarterback was overly comfortable in the pocket. Footwork, a little bit sloppy. All of a sudden now the pass is a little less accurate and an opportunity for a big shot. You end up falling short. Right side and hauled in by McConkey. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. And we see a nice catch here by Ladd McConkey and Mike, what really jumps out, and I can't stress enough how rare this is for young wide receivers in the NFL fresh out of college, is just how good of a route runner he is. And it doesn't matter if he's in the slot or if he's out on the perimeter. He can run any route from any position, and that sort of versatility is going to continue to get him opportunities in this Chargers offense. And then when he has the ball in his hand, every play can be a big one. They'll come up now for second down and four. Again, they'll throw with Herbert. And this throw batted away and incomplete. And the success of this play, Mike, all comes down to the timing of the defender. You get there a little bit too early, you risk pass interference. You get there a little too late, it's a big pass completion. Timing your hand and playing through the ball is something they work on with these defenders all the time. And next time they throw the ball downfield, I wouldn't be surprised if they target somebody else. They set up the screen for Dobbins. Give him 13 on that screen play and a first down. Well, a little unconventional play call here. You don't traditionally see the screen game used on third down at these shorter down and distances. But in this case, they catch the defense off guard, they time it up well, and the back is able to convert and pick up the first down. Herbert to the air again. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. This is a part of the field where you have to account for the quarterback as a runner. Nothing's open downfield. Great job by your secondary. But then he makes a break for the goal line, and they're able to stop him just short, but not until after he sets his guys up first and goal. Herbert to throw. That is caught by the tight end. Hayden Hurst. Touchdown, L.A. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end 
in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. After the touchdown, here's Dicker out to send this one away. This is fielded inside the five. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Browns offense ready for their first possession of this second half. They're searching here for the tying score, down 21-14. And they'll begin first and 10. On the ground, it's Chubb to start this drive. And the woes in the running game continue. They're going to subtract yards there. A loss on the play. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Once again, it's Chubb. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard, but that's it. They come to the line needing 11 here on third down. From the gun, Winston. Backs to the open man, it's Tillman. 11 yards on the pass there. First down, Cleveland. I think they're going to have to be more creative here on the back end with the types of coverages they show this quarterback change the look pre-snap to post-snap mix in zone mix in man they got to make it more challenging on the quarterback going forward to the left side into the hands of Moore and he's going to be brought down up past the 45 So, a pair of first downs moves him out to the 47-yard line. And it's first and 10. Now, Winston. That's into the hands of Judy on the right side. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. And this is exactly the Jerry Judy they thought they were getting when they went out and traded for him from Denver this offseason. Wasn't it, Mike? I mean, just can he be that reliable weapon in this passing game to just give a little juice to this Browns offense? And so far, the Alabama product, he has done just that as he picks up a fresh set of downs. And this defense having nothing of that, they get him down behind the line. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. To throw, Winston. They'll set up the screen. Here's Judy. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Got to get it to the 28. But now... It's third down. Out of the gun, it's Winston. That's taken in by Chuck. He's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. So we are through three. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
So they come to the line for first down and 10. Najoku, the tight end, is the one in motion. Winston will work out of the pistol. He's got it at the seven. And they're going to be set up now as he's brought down at the five-yard line. That's a really important pickup there on that last completion. Not only does it set up first and goal, but allows everybody in the huddle to just take a deep breath. We're no longer in this frantic offensive possession. Let's get our best play. Let's make sure everyone understands what to do because we know we need to finish this off with six if we can. And now being first and goal is going to go a long way in allowing that to be possible. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground. Like there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. Najoku, the tight end, is the one in motion. One more time, it's Chubb. And he'll get three yards here, down to the two-yard line. Two plays at their disposal, but they'd love to get it right here on third and goal. Winston, under pressure, and now he's going to go down back at the eight-yard line. Feels like they needed that sack this entire drive. It feels like the defense was really on their heels. The offense was taking it to them really however they wanted to. So to be able to take a deep breath now, disrupt the rhythm of the drive by getting that sack, that might go a long way now to allow them to get off the field. And this one, right down the middle. It's good. Well, every bit helps as they draw just a little bit closer. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone, and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through, and they get three. So Hopkins now following the made field goal. Back out to send it away. Davis now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. So now here comes the Chargers as they get set to take over once more. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Herbert. Oh, they got the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked by Jeremiah Wusu koromoa On first down, it's Winston. There's a short throw caught by Najoku. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times, they're too big for defensive backs. And he'll get about four out of that one. That should be enough to move the chains. It is. First down. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst, they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. On first and ten, here's Winston. That is caught at the three. And he'll take it on in. David Nujoku. Touchdown, Browns. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. What a game this has been back and forth we go, and that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth, Mike, and now the question is, can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win?
So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Here's Vlad McConkey to return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Chargers offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and 10. Here's Herbert. This one complete to Palmer. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. As this game continues to come down to the wire, Mike, it just reminds us, this is where quarterbacks earn their keep. You are judged by how you play in these critical moments in fourth quarter, down a score. It doesn't get much bigger than this. They'll keep it on the ground. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's second and six. That's Palmer, the man in motion. They'll get creative here on the jet sweep. And this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. Big play coming up. This is third down. From the gun, it's Herbert. He's got the open man. That's McConkie. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Big-time play there as they try to cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. At this point in the game, Mike, remember, you're just going to get a couple more possessions, so you have to make the most of them, especially with the lead being this close for the taking. They're going to motion their tight end, Hurst. On first and ten, here's Herbert. This one finds McConkie. Here is second and seven. Now Herbert. Adds to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. Not only does he let the ball go through his hands, he lets six points slip away with that drop. I mean, everyone else does their job. The ball's on target. Listen, this is the big boy league now. The reality is, you just got to catch the ball. They'll run here. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. This one is on target, and it is good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. And this is where it pays to have a kicker you can trust, Mike. I mean, this is as big a spot as there is. Fourth quarter, what does he do? He comes out and he delivers to tie up this game. Tie game. Still time to break that tie, though, as you see. Maybe run a two-minute offense. And the kick's in the air. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Browns offense headed back to take over once more. This game level following the made field goal. So they need to put something together here. It begins with first and ten. They'll drop to throw. That's over the middle and caught by Judy. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down.
Here comes second down. A second down throw for Jameis. He's going to keep it himself. You can see here, Mike, the impact that sending your receivers deep does to the defense. You add so many layers, and the defense has to get so much depth in their pass coverage, it leaves a lot of room underneath, and that's exactly what the quarterback takes advantage, tucks the ball down, turns into a runner, picks up the first down. Winston to throw on first down. That one into the hands of Moore downfield. And he's going to be taken down at the 30-yard line. They still have all three timeouts, and here we go with first and ten. Now, it's Chubb. He's going to be marked down at the 12-yard line. Now a timeout Chargers here. That's their second. They get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining here in the fourth. This is first and ten. Here's Chuck. And a nice run there on first down, getting eight. Setting up second and two. on the ground to get the score and Greg the big guys up front they deserve some praise on that one absolutely Mike and it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block but in this case give credit to the entire unit they did their job and they reward their offense with a touchdown So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Davis now to return it. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Chargers offense make their way out to take over once more. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Shotgun now for Herbert. And he's got Palmer. It's complete. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. As the saying goes, Mike, you need your big-time players to make big-time plays, and the moment doesn't get bigger than this. Find yourself down. A touchdown gives you a chance to win this thing in regulation, and I think they got a shot. Herbert now on first down. That's going to be incomplete, so no help there. And we're likely down to a final snap. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him. And he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. A ball deep for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. The defense holds here in the final minute. And they're going to get out of here with a victory. So the dog pound celebrates. It's a win for the Browns.
This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, they got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that is the difference in this one. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The dog pounds happy. It's a win for the Browns. As we say farewell from Cleveland.